protecting people, loving people, looking after people in this world. Lots of people do that. <clears throat> Remember for love or for spiteness. Some people get lost in the world of their emotions and feelings, which I'm not the only person in this world. We all deserve a bit of happiness. Our friends to talk to when we're down and sad and then make you happy again. But not everybody gets that sort of thing in the world, which is a shame. I'm just in deep thought guys and girls thinking things. The only thing that I wish in my life, and loads of people have suddenly said it to me, all I wish in my life is to find a girlfriend. That's all I wish in my life. And there's probably lots of guys like me that are trying to find girlfriends and uh, they can't find them for some reason. Um, some people are probably rude or angry all the time or that, their attitude doesn't get them a woman. But that, that's not the point though. Lots of people are shy in the world. It's the same with women as well. There's lots of women in the world but probably can't get guys and they're looking for guys as well. But it would be nice if a girl came up to me and asked me out or spoke to me. I mean, I don't ask for a lot. That I just have a conversation with me. I mean, I have conversations with girls and guys in the PlayStation 4. It's not the same. They're, it's a different type of, uh, I wouldn't say it's for a relationship, it's just ma making friends, you know, having a laugh. But uh, I don't know if it's because of girls don't know what to expect with a guy in real life that uh, they don't approach them as much. It's always a guy's job to go up to a woman and speak to them. Some women would probably think that uh, the guys have got the balls to go over and ask them on a date or whatever. But it works, but the, see, the thing is, it works both ways, you know. You can't expect all the guys to do all the work. They have to do it on both sides. You both compromise and it works. But, you know, that's probably the probably, the, probably one of the rain, reasons why I'm feeling down and depressed half the time. Because I think to myself, I look at other people and think, well, if they've got boyfriend and girlfriends, why haven't I got one? You know what I mean? That's what I think, and I'm sure a lot of other people are in the same boat as me. You know, um, I'm a nice enough looking person, guy, but uh, why shouldn't they come over and speak to me? I mean, you can speak to people in shops, you can talk to people in restaurants, or if you're buying something from a shop, you can speak to people in there, or ordering something offline, or if you see a postman or a postman, you can talk to them, or if you go to a college, you can meet girls in there, or go to a bar or a pub or a nightclub. The way the world is at the minute, especially the coronavirus, it's making things hard for a lot of people because they can't see the families or they can't talk to the loved ones. I heard some uh, very sad news yesterday. My granddad's uh, mom died in real life, which is my great grandma or step grandma. It's still very sad. It's still family. My uncle was very upset about it, and uh, she was a great lady. I do miss my great grandma, my grandma's side. Um, I think I've lost quite a, a lot of people outside my family. I'm sure a lot of you guys and girls have as well. It's not a nice thing to say goodbyes and people dying and death and various other things. But sometimes life is the way it is. Um, like I say, I'd like to settle down one day at some point, get a girlfriend and eventually have children myself. But it's trying to find the right person. That's why I get annoyed and angry, because I think to myself, what is wrong with me that women won't come up to me and speak to me? Now, it's probably cause, not because of them or me. It's probably just because they haven't met me yet, or, you know, people are shy to talk to other people, which I can understand that. But, like I say, if you get to know me, I'm a nice guy. I mean, but never, not everybody can see it the same way as other people. They always see the negative in people and judge people. I'm not saying everybody's negative, but just certain people are. You know, they get to know you, to understand you and speak to you. You know, um, never, ju never judge a book by its cover, as most people say, but uh, I don't know. All I hope for is a bit of happiness myself. If all my other family members have got boyfriends and girlfriends, what am I doing wrong? Am I not saying the right words? Am I not saying the right things? If I'm stuck... 
can you have help? I mean, some people have I watched these things on TV where they go on like TV shows. This girl, she was called Davina, and she helped this uh, guy and woman get together on a date. But this is a TV program. Obviously, they pay to go on there. But it would just be nice. It'd be a lot easier if people would approach people more. I mean, I know the Korean rice is stopping people to approach people, but speaking to people, acknowledging people that are there, you know, having conversations and asking them how the day is, not just if you don't know them or have never seen them before, or if you go up to somebody and they speak to you rudely for no reason because they don't know you and tell you to go away. I mean, what kind of world are we living in? They expect to go into a shop and buy something and speak to the shopkeeper. Sometimes they don't want to because it's just a business. If you see somebody on the street asking for directions, people, some people say that's fine directions you want a conversation with some people down the street they don't want to know unless you go to certain places for people to talk to and have conversations you know like uh youth clubs or i don't know uh places that you talk to people in jobs or i don't know and i just thought i'd mention it it's just irritating like some people don't want to die single with no relationship they don't I gotta keep trying to find one. Never easy. None of us like it the way it is, but we're all trying to pull through. All individuals. This is where people get confused because, and some people get that depressed that they don't want to be here around anymore. Now, I'm strong minded and I feel sorry for all them people that really want a, a relationship and want to be happy. And so you get some people out there that says, oh, it's not all about relationships, it's not all about sex, it's not all about this and that. But the thing is, without all of us being here, we'd never be here with our mums and dads. And some of us probably don't respect our mums and dads and siblings and family members. And then when they do die and pass over, they regret what they've said to them. They, they, they wish they'd been in there to spend a bit more time with them. We're not all like that, but some of us are. Let me realise what life's about. And uh, like I say, I don't know what to say in this video, but <laughs> i just rabbit in on with most people and explain the world. Um... If there is another place after life and after death, and uh, hopefully all them loved ones that have gone, be happy there. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. But we've all got to keep strong in this world. That's all I can say. Be happy. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. Give a like, a comment, share your friends. Tell me what you guys and girls think about this. And I'll be back again. Peace. Till